But what happened to the line that we don't negotiate with terrorists? Six billion US dollars, by the way, that's 10 billion. So uh, uh, for six um, uh, American citizens who were s stuck in Iran because they went there to see their families, uh, it's a billion dollars now to get them out. Is that the price next time? And you and I know what Iran will do with those billions. Let's go to the United States. You, you can't, even your most ardent Biden supporter, can't look past how much he is struggling. And this idea that he's going to be able to front presidential debates and acquit himself and his party well, it's, it's just fanciful. So, so how do you deal with a lame duck president, given this is a president who wants to run? Most lame ducks don't want to run. Um, then you've got the issue with Harris, Kamala Harris. How do you bypass her as they must? Uh, at the same time, you've got talk now of a woman on the ticket with Donald Trump. Tell us what you can about her. Give us, uh, give us your Democrat insider knowledge. Yes, it's, uh, there's a lot going on, and I think the, there's been a tectonic plate shift uh, among the Democrat base, I, I would say as recently as just in the last week. If you look at, there's a couple of polls that have come out where they're really turning on Biden. Um, a lot of very loyal media outlets and hosts are also actually turning on him and really questioning that. I think just because it's really impossible to ignore. It is undeniable now what, what the issue is and it's starting to spill out. Mm -hmm. The problem, as you cite, Peter, is that it's not just him, but it's also the bottom of the ticket, where there's no confidence in Kam Kamala Harris. She was never popular to begin with. And um, there is kind of this problem of how do they do, do the twofer, replace not just the top of the ticket, but also the bottom. That's really difficult. Um, and also, there's po possibly some backlash. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. And if they peel her off, she was an identity politics play, will that fracture their And she could go case? rogue. She, she could, could go, go rogue. rogue. So tell me, tell me about the Trump side. And on the Trump side, I mean, Christy Nome, former governor, governor of South Dakota, um, has always been sort of in the orbit of people, of possible contenders, um, conservative, good record economically. Um, she was kind of one of the sane people in a world gone insane in the wake of COVID in terms of leaving that state open. Mm -hmm. But she also is not very popular with um, the really populist wing of the base, actually. She's had some issues with eminent domain, um, not banning boys from girls' sports and things like that. So I think that in the end, um, I'd be surprised if ultimately she's a pick, but I think Trump is sort of just flirting with the idea that she, he's got a good tent and a good roster of folks to pick from. All right, let's go to China. What on earth is happening? Uh, to lose one minister uh, is, what do they say, uh, an inconvenience. Two says uh, there's a lot of internal dissent. And there's a, uh, so not only the foreign minister and defence minister have disappeared, both of them Xi loyalists or Xi appointees, but the head of the uh, Chinese Strategic Rocket Forces have, and a number of other generals have been removed too. Now, you've got to remember that China's doing this huge strategic nuclear build-up. Mm -hmm. That's very ominous that he's seeing that there are loyalists out there in the western deserts of China to uh, supervise their rocket forces. What does all of this mean? Something's happening, Peter.